Good morning. Welcome to the Crafty Canary for the Word on Wednesday. The verse we're going to look at today is Colossians 3.16. Let the Word of Christ richly dwell within you with all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. For many years, this has been what I consider my life verse because it sums up what I feel like God has called me to do as his child. First, I want the word of Christ to richly dwell within me. I want to know his word, to study his word, and to love his word. Lately, for me, this has been a real conviction to memorize his word, and it has been such a joy as I have learned more about him and grown closer to him as I, as I have treasured his word in my heart. Also, I want to teach others wisely what God has taught me. In whatever way I can, I want to share with others the knowledge that he has given me of his word and through his word, seeking wise counsel from him in prayer and from others who have known him and his word much longer than I have. And because he has gifted me with musical abilities, I want to use those also to help and admonish others. God has given us music to draw us to himself, and it also helps and encourages, teaches, and most importantly, it gives us a way to thank and praise him for all of the wonderful things that he has done for us. So today, I want to leave you with the words of the first and last verse of a wonderful hymn called How Firm a Foundation. How firm a foundation, you saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he has said, to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled? The soul that on Jesus has leaned for repose, I will not, I will not desert to its foes. That soul, though all hell should endeavor to shake, I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next Wednesday.